to my channel so today I created this look here I wanted to do something really creative I've never done anything creative on my channel before so I really wanted to do something a little bit out of the box and challenge myself going into this I didn't really know what I was going to do I knew that I was going to do something with roses something midnight ish I love stars I love the moon and I mean, I'm not a big fan of roses but you know I thought how cool would it be if I was to buy roses spray paint them black and like turn it into some kind of midnight rose so that's where the idea came from and what I've done is I actually bought real roses I spray painted them black and I've stuck them on my neck uh, and this is like a little part of a rose and I went something like shooting stars on the eyes and yeah that's pretty much what we've got I've got two little roses on my head there I freestyled the situation because you guys know I don't like to plan anything ahead. I'm such a light, last minute person. I mean, it's 4.30 in the morning, I just finished. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how to get this look, please keep on watching. Also, please don't mind my nails throughout the whole entire thing between spray painting the roses and all the glue and the glitter and everything else. They're just a mess. So yes, let's just see how this look turns out. Crossing my fingers that it just turns out hey, okay. <laughs> Okay, so starting off, we are going in with the uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil. This is in Milk. Now with this, I am just going to prime my eyelids with it. Now I don't know what look I'm going to actually go for for the eyes. I'm thinking something smoky and dramatic. So we'll just see what I come up with. So I'm just going to blend that all out. Okay, and now that I have done that, I am just going to set it or else we cannot blend anything out if we do not set it. And I'm just going to go in with the NYX Beauty Dropout, this palette here. I'm just going to use this first shade here, the white, and I'm just going to pop that all over the eye as well. And that is it guys, we are done. <laughs> Can you imagine? Look. Really, this is like the most creative I've been so far. So the fact that we're going to add on to this, I'm so freaking nervous. But you just got to try, you know? You just got to give it a shot. That is done. Okay, next going in with the same palette, but I'm going to like a really light brown color. And we're just going to put that in the crease and slightly above the crease. So I'm just basically following my socket bone, which is right there. And I'm just going to buff it out towards the corners of my eyes. Okay, next we're just going to give it a bit more definition and we're going in with a darker brown, I believe. So we will just put this shade here. Now I don't know if what I'm about to do next will stuff up the whole look but I'm going to go in with the Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX and this is in Black Bean. I'm just going to grab a small brush and I'm just going to grab it with the brush. I'm just going to line. I'm going to smudge this out. Okay. I'm going up a bit. Okay, I've just slightly brought it a bit above my crease. I think I'm going to do a cut crease. Now I'm just going to blend that out quickly. I'm not adding any black eyeshadow, just yet. Yeah, I just want to blend it out. Now that's okay, that's all patchy. We're going to fix it up, okay? We're going to fix it up, I promise. Now we're going to go in with the black. I'm just going to pat it on the eyelid. Okay, so next we're going in with a fluffy brush. It's got no product on it whatsoever. And I'm just going to basically use it just to blend out the top bits of my eye. Okay, 
so once we have blended the black out as much as we can you should get something like this now we're going to cut the crease we're going to go in with some concealer now the way i like to cut the crease is i just dab a bit of concealer on the lid like so and then look all the way up and you should get a line where you roughly went want your crease to be cut and you just follow that now i generally go a bit over the that line crease is very dramatic but it is cut <laughs> and now we're going to go in there's a silver shade that is eyeing me off and i think it'll be perfect for this look this silver shade there and I'm basically just going to pat that on where we've cut the crease and that will just even the crease out and give it a really nice finish. So don't worry about the little edges that you see there. We're going to go back in and clean that all up. I'm going to go back in with the second, I think it was the second transition shade, which was the dark brown pommy colour just there. Okay, and you should get something like that at the end. So now I'm going to go in for my wing, and I love my wing, and in every single look of mine, I've got a wing. So I'm going in with the Matte Liquid Liner by NYX. Okay, so both wings are done. So now for foundation, I'm just going to paint my face with it. Next I'm going to bake under the eyes. I'm just going to pat that on. We are going to contour now and I'm going to go pretty heavy on the contour today. Now it's time to blend it all out. And we are just going to work out our arm muscles here. Now I'm just going to brush off the powder. Time to blend. So I'm just going to set the contouring in with some contouring powder. Okay, so next I will be going in with the strobe of genius. And then I just grab a brush and just smooth it out a bit. I might actually put some on the brow bone as well. Now I'm just going to go in with a bit of blush, smile, and I'm just going to put that just on the top of my cheeks. Okay, so while my battery was charging, I went ahead and did the rest of the eye. So basically I found a packet of glitter that I've got and I just wanted to mimic uh, shooting stars or stars. We're going to do the same to the other eye, but I'm just too excited. I just went and got the roses. They're all dried up from the spray paint. So I'm going to start on the neck and then I will finish that eye off. So we will do that now. I'm going to go in with some eyelash glue and I'm just going to put a bit on there. I don't even know how I'm going to wash this off. It is currently 3 o'clock in the morning. And I just might end up sleeping like this. I'll just sleep as a black rose. <laughs> I might actually do the eyes first again because I just realized I can't really bend my neck much so I'm going to finish off the eyes because I know I need to bend my neck when I'm doing my eyes and then I'll get back to this although I'm so excited but for the eyes I went in with the NYX white liquid liner and I bought this little art brush that I'm going to be using I just drew on little stars on the eyelid Okay, and then when I got to the end, I just felt like flicking it out. So that's what I'm going to do here. For the inner corner, I just went in with the NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil. And I just drew where the little crystals are going to go, the shooting star. 
With the eyelash glue, I just grab some. Just pat it on. And then, pretty much, you dip and dot every star and put a dot light tip in the middle of it. So now I'm just going to attach a bit of glitter to my lower lash line. Let's continue my favorite part. This is going to be one hectic shower. Now I think I might go in with a little bit of a few leaves to break it up a bit maybe. I don't think I'm going to add any more because I feel like I've become the rose, you know? I think it's enough. <laughs> now going in for lipstick, I'm going in with the NYX Cosmic Metal. Okay, so I've popped on the other lash. My voice is slowly fading away. And I found this little piece in my drawer and I thought it would go perfect with the look. So I just stuck that on my forehead as well. Okay, so this is the final result, guys. I would have loved to pop on some falsies because my hands looked disgusting throughout the whole entire thing. And I'm so sorry. But um, the falsies just would not stick on because of the crap that is on my nails. So I just got to have a great shower and I've got to scrub for God knows how long. I didn't even know what product to use to take this off. I'm starting to get all itchy. But I am very pleased with the way it turned out. Surprisingly, I'm just like, it's sort of what I imagined in my head. But yeah, I just, I'm glad that I tried something different and I had a lot of fun doing it and just the creativity just brings out of you is just it's so weird like I said because I haven't done anything creative before but yeah I had a ball I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys shortly see you later bye